Hello, everybody. Um, today, we are going to be talking about something fun. Earlier, earlier today, I did a video um, with Sean over on his channel called, um, I guess, Desert Island Books is what we called it. Or what he called it. He has a series and he's done this with a bunch of people on BookTube and stuff. And it was so much fun. Literally, I had a blast. The thing was, I picked a lot of books and realized I couldn't use all of them. So I thought what I would do is now take this time to go over the honorable mentions. And if you want to see the top eight books that I took on this desert island, go over to his channel. I'll link it down below. And um, when it goes live, you will be notified. So let's do this. Okay, so I have a big stack of books here. Okay. <sighs> These are the books that I wanted to take, but decided not to for different reasons. Um, and you will find out what those are. So the first one is Edgar Rice Burroughs at the Earth's Core. Um, this is the first Pellucidor book. The reason why I didn't want to take this at the end of the day was because, this is going to sound funny, but this wasn't my eight, or this is my ace edition, but it wasn't my other edition. Long story short, I couldn't find the one with the Frazetta art on the cover. And the whole reason why I would have wanted to take this, A, it's a fun story of a guy in a strange new place having an adventure, but also there is a beautiful woman on the cover that would have been handy um, on a desert island. And um, since I couldn't find that copy of the book, on my rack and in the bookcase. I have no idea what I did with it. And I just made a video with it like not too long ago. So I know it's here. I just can't find it. So there's that. Um, next, play the piano drunk like a percussion instrument until the fingers begin to bleed a bit. Charles Bukowski. This is a slim volume of Bukowski's poetry. And there's some good stuff in here, but it's slim enough that it wouldn't weigh me down, I don't think. So that would have been that. The poetry book that I did want to take would be Skull Juices by Douglas Blazik. Um, this book is kind of pricey because there weren't that many made of them. Um, this is from 1970. It doesn't say in the front. So there were a thousand copies of this book made. Um, and it has not had a second printing. So I was thinking, I'm like, why would I take this anywhere? Like, this is definitely a leave it home book because you don't want anything bad to happen to it. So that's why that didn't get to go. Next, Naked Lunch, William S. Burroughs. This was a hard choice because there are other William S. Burroughs books that I like, but this one has a lot of little pieces. If you've ever read Naked Lunch, it's kind of like somebody threw a bunch of short stories into a blender and turned it on and then said, wait, no, these should be separate stories, but let's just put them in one blender. So this is one you could kind of dip in and out of. And I'm hoping that on this desert island that it kind of has the same feel maybe as Interzone. But then I was thinking... And I'm like, there are other books I would rather take. I don't know if I want to have this while I'm on a desert island. But it, it was close. Next, Frankenstein. Um, this is one of my favorite books ever. Um, I've read it a bunch of times. I don't think I would take this edition. I have many other beater copies of this that I would take. Um, but this looks pretty on camera. This is just such a fun book. I've always loved it. So just for nostalgia reading, this would be good to have there. Now, I also wanted to take some stuff 
that was very absurd. Because the idea of me being on a desert island would be absurd. And so I wanted to take something from Kafka. And my favorite Kafka book is The Trial. But I thought that this might be a little too heavy on society. And since I'm being ostracized from society, having to live on a desert island, um, I thought this was a little heavy. So um, that did not get picked. Now, because Bukowski is so conversational in his writing, having some Bukowski there would feel like someone else was there with me, like I was having conversations. And having the poetry there is good. Um, but I thought also some of his kind of ramblings or stories would be fun. And so I picked Notes of a Dirty Old Man. Um, this is a very funny book. And I think I would need some laughter in a situation if I was stranded on a desert island. But I found better books to take than this but this was almost almost there oh man and i just remembered another one is it right here so i'm back um i found the book that i wanted to take which is this the stranger by albert camus and you've heard me talk about this and the only reason why because i i really feel like the character in this book I would feel a lot like feeling like everything is absurd. I'm in a situation that is absurd. Things have happened around me and this is now my plight. But I don't like how this book ends. I don't like how he kind of, in my view, gave up. So that doesn't get picked. And while I was looking for that, I found at the Earth's core with the Frazetta painting. All right. So now I might have to change all my shit. Okay. So more books that I was going to take. Notes from Underground. Again, this goes right back <clears throat> to Kafka and Camus. Um, I feel kind of a kinship with these books here. But... Again, I think there are better books that elicit the same feeling, especially if I'm on a desert island. So that's why this one stays home. Hunger, same thing. I feel very close to how the character in this book is, but I feel like there are better books for desert island absurdity. So next... Breakfast of Champions, my favorite book ever by Kurt Vonnegut. Um, and it's probably my favorite book ever just in general. Um, I thought this would be a great one to take. But then I realized I think there's a better Vonnegut book for being stranded on a desert island. So this one, too, stays home. And finally, Raymond Chandler, The Lady in the Lake. I originally was going to take my big book of pulps, my big book of black uh, mask tales or whatever. Um, I was going to take my big Conan um, comic strip book. I was going to take the, my Batman omnibuses and all this stuff. And then I'm thinking, I'm like, God, those books are so freaking heavy. Why the hell would I do that? I don't want to do that. So then I'm like, okay, but I would like to have some like hard boiled stuff to look at, right? And I was thinking about it, and the more I thought about it, I'm like, you know what? On a desert island, I don't think I would want any hard boiled detective stuff. So as much as I love this book, I think it's going to stay home. And hopefully, this precarious stack of books does not fall down. So I think that's it. Um, the only other one I could think of would be, um, and it's up there, I'm not going to go grab it, but um, Teatro Grotesco from Thomas Ligotti. Um, probably that, that would be a 
an almost book there. Um, yeah. So those are my books that almost made it. So these books might have been on the ship, but went down with the ship. Um, although in Skull Juice's book, there's no way I would let that fucking sink to the bottom of the ocean. So let's just say these are the books that I forgot to pack. Watch for Sean's video. It will be coming within, I don't know, a month or something like that. Maybe sooner, maybe later. I don't know. But when that video comes up, you will see it. So until next time, bye-bye. And don't get trapped on a desert island.